good morning student so today in lecture number 12 from the subject electronic devices and circuits we are going to start the chapter number 2 that is mosfet and its dc analysis i am madhuri mil working as assistant professor in department of electronics and telecommunication sharad institute of technology college of engineering so previous uh, sessions we have covered chapter number 1 that is jfet junction field effect transistor then now second chapter it deals with the mosfet and its dc analysis this electronic devices and circuits are nothing but the transistor theory as well as the oscillators amplifiers then regulators and ic ripple file so from this subject the chapter number 2 that is mosfet and its dc analysis so this is the outline of today's session so we are going to see the mosfet then types of mosfet then d mosfet for that the symbols for the d mosfet and types of the d mosfet that is n d mosfet and pd mosfet then let us see the introduction of mosfet so in case jfet the gate must be reverse biased for proper operation since a previous session we have seen in detail the jfet and working principle of the jfet that is junction field effect transistor so in that jfet uh, n type and p type jfet we have seen so for uh, in detail study we have seen that the n type jfet so according to structure of jfet the gate must be reverse biased for proper operation of the device so that is it can only have negative gate operation for n channel and positive gate operation for p channel so that means we can only decrease the width of the channel from its zero bias side so this type of operation is known as a depletion mode operation so therefore a jfet can only be operate in the depletion mode so as we have seen the structure of jfet for the n channel and p channel n channel means what uh, the middle uh, substrate channel is nothing but the n type and p channel means middle substrate is made up of the p uh, p material so when we applied the uh, gate uh, to source voltage that is vcs the id current is uh, controlled at the output side so according to that the channel width is going to increase or decrease so when it is a larger channel width at that time id is maximum and when that the channel width gets narrower at that time id current becomes at the zero so means what jfet is working in the depletion mode okay then next however there is a a field effect transistor that can be operated to enhance the width of the channel so that is it can have enhancement mode operation okay enhancement mode operation so such a fet is called as a mosfet that is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor okay so what is mean by mosfet metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor okay so those transistor which operate on that the enhance the width of the channel so it can have the enhancement mode operation so such a fet is called as the mosfet that is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor so field effect transistor are categorized into two types one is the jfet and another is the mosfet so jfet is the uh, operate on that the depletion mode while uh, mosfet are operate on the depletion as well as the enhancement mode so let us see the types of the mosfet so here there are two basic types of the mosfet so one is the depletion type mosfet or we can say d mosfet okay so d mosfet can be operate in a both depletion mode and enhancement mode okay so for this reason it is called as the depletion or enhancement mosfet so d mosfet operate on that the both depletion mode and enhancement mode 
Then next is the enhancement type MOSFET or we can say E-MOSFET. So E-MOSFET can be operated only in a enhancement mode. So in a uh, chapter number one, we have seen uh, FET is categorized into two types. Uh, JFET and MOSFET. Again, JFET is categorized into N channel and P channel. In a MOSFET, there are two types depletion that is D MOSFET and E MOSFET. And again, according to the structure, D MOSFET is also divided into two types N uh, channel and P channel, as well as for that, the in enhancement also P and N type E MOSFET. So let us see one by one. So D MOSFET construction details. So for example, we are taking the N channel E MOSFET. So you can see the structure of the D MOSFET. So what here we are going to see? Here is again that the three main terminal and one is the substrate. So drain, gate and source as well as the substrate. So here N channel substrate and over that the P substrate is deposited. So from this then and from this side drain is taken out and from this side source is taken out and using SiO2 layer that is isolation layer the gate is taken from there the means isolated from this the channel. So here is the structure of the D MOSFET that is N channel D MOSFET. So suppose it is the P channel then here the P sub material is there and N is uh, from that the N substrate is taken. Then the N channel D MOSFET is a piece of N type material with a P type region called a substrate on the right and an insulating gate on the left. Okay, so just we have seen that N type material where it is deposited and the gate is taken out uh, by insulating, means it is separated by, by uh, I insulating layer SiO2 from the channel. So the free electron flowing from the source to drain must pass through the narrow channel between gate and the P-type region that is the substrate. So here we can see free electrons flowing from the source to drain. So free electrons flowing from the source to drain where this is nothing but the narrow grid the passage is available to flow of that the free electrons from source to drain. Okay. So narrow channel between the where it is between the gate and the P type region. So the gate construction of D MOSFET is explained as, uh, as below. A thin layer of metal oxide usually silicon dioxide that is SiO2 we have seen is deposited over a small portion of a channel okay so SiO2 is deposited over the small portion of the channel so metallic gate is deposited over that oxide layer so just in the structure we have seen there so as SiO2 is an insulator therefore gate is insulated from the channel so see here gate is insulated from this channel so small portion of SiO2 layer is deposited over the channel and the metallic terminal is taken out which is insulated uh, from the channel As SiO2 is an insulator, therefore gate is insulated from the channel. So the substrate is connected to the source internally so that a MOSFET has three terminals such as source, gate and drain. So just like the JFUT, MOSFET is also having the three terminals, source, gate and drain. Since the gate is insulating from the channel, so we can apply either negative or positive voltage to the gate so therefore p mosfet can operate in a both depletion mode and enhancement mode so in a just introduction we have seen that the d mosfet is uh, operated in a both the depletion as well as enhancement mode why because 
so gate is the insulated from the channel and we can apply either negative or the positive voltage to the gate so that's why the mosfet can d mosfet can operate on the uh, both depletion mode and enhancement mode so you will uh, you have that the idea why there is a gate is constructed like this okay so that's why the due to that the structural arrangement of the d mosfet the d mosfet is operating in both the depletion mode and enhancement mode then let us see the symbols for the d mosfet so there are two types of the d mosfet so according to the which channel is there so structurally it is n channel d mosfet and p channel d mosfet so here the figure shows that the n channel d mosfet so how we are going to identify whether it is the n channel or d ch uh, sorry p channel so here this is the thing about the n channel so we are over that the p substrate is deposited so this is a drain gate and source so the p substrate constrict the channel between the source and the drain so that only small passage remain at the left side electron flowing from source to drain okay so when drain is positive with respect to the source and then and then only the uh, free electrons are flow so most uh, pass to the narrow channel so here the symbol of that the d mos n channel d mosfet so see here the gate appears like the capacitor slit so just to the right of the gate is the thick vertical line okay representing the channel so this broad line indicating the channel the drain lead comes out of the top of the channel okay and the source lead connects to the bottom so the arrow is on the substrate and points to the end material okay so therefore we have end channel d mosfet so every uh, that the electronic device having its own symbol so like that here n channel d mosfet symbol is represented here so gate appears like the capacitor plate so just right of the gate there is a thick vertical line representing the channel so if the examiner asks why that the symbol is like this or you can represent the symbol for the d mosfet and explain it so you have to you should answer that the gate appears like a capacitor plate the and the thick vertical line representing the china so the drain will come out from the top and that the source will connect to the other and why the arrow is like this because the arrow is on the substrate and points to the end material therefore we have n channel d mosfet so that the modified uh, that the symbol so figure 2 See shows that the modified symbol for that the n channel d mosfet. So here that the substrate that the so substrate is connected to the source. So here substrate is shown that the as a fourth fourth terminal, but here only three terminals are represented: drain, gate, and source. And the substrate is connected to the source. So you can. draw this or you can draw with this the modified one symbol then p channel d mosfet so here the p uh, type d mosfet is shown here so what what is the uh, difference between the p channel and n channel so if you uh, see the carefully that the structure of that the p channel and uh, n channel then you will get that the idea it is the opposite to each other so for the n channel here that the n material is there but for the p channel p material over that n uh, substrate is deposited and using this si02 layer 
the great terminal is isolated from the channel so here uh, the drain gate source and substrate as it is only that the uh, material uh, the structural material is changed so here the n type substrate constricts the channel between the source and drain so that only a small passage remains at the left side the conduction takes place through the flow of the holes from the source to drain so in a n channel there is a uh, electrons are in a conduction and for the p channel here flow of the holes from the source to drain so the symbol for the p channel d master is shown like this so gate appears like that the capacitor this terminal is representing the channel then from that the top side drain is taken out and from that the bottom source is taken out. and show see here that the arrow is outward okay so it is from that the uh, channel is outward and the end channel it is inward you get the uh, clear idea between the in channel and p channel so it is the modified one so it is the modified symbol for that the p channel d master so your source is connected to the substrate initially as shown in the figure and the this result in in a three terminal device that is drain gate and source so let us see the once again the the summary so what we have seen what is the mosfet types of the mosfet so in that p mosfet for that we have seen the n channel and p channel construction as well as the symbols of that the d mosfet okay so the mos jfet is operate in a deflation and Uh, sorry only in a depletion mode while the mosfet that is metal oxide semiconductor steel lithium transistor operates in a both enhancement mode as well as the depletion mode so there are two types d mosfet and e mosfet so d mosfet operate in a depletion as well as the enhancement mode and e mosfet only operate in a enhancement mode then we have seen that the d mosfet so according to the construction it is categorized as either in the n channel or p channel so this is nothing but the channel so it is n channel or maybe it is p channel so uh, so free electrons flowing from the source to drain in a n channel while uh, for that the p channel the holes are moving from that the narrow channel so and here specially that the gate construction we have discussed uh, that the thin layer of the metal oxide which is uh, gate is made up of the thin layer of the metal oxide so from that the small area of that the channel the so2 layer is deposited and over that the metal metal oxide is there which is nothing but the gate terminal is taken out okay so that is i would to work as a insulator between the gate and the channel so there are three terminal source gate and the drain one is the substrate but it is internally short with that the source so due to that the gate insulated from the channel we can apply the negative and the positive voltage to the gate so therefore the d mosfet is only on operate in a both the uh, mode deflation mode or enhancement mode okay so this is the summary of today's session of uh, that the mosfet which is uh, operating in a both the mode enhancement as well as the deflation so due to construction wise there are two types d mosfet and e mosfet so today we have seen the d mosfet so but in your syllabus uh, they have mentioned uh, from you that the e mosfet but you have to know what is mean by d mosfet and then we are going to see the e mosfet okay so these are
are the symbols for the end channel arrow is internal this is the modified one which where that is subset and source is connected for the p channel channel c is here so symbol outward that the symbol and we have seen that the why that symbol is like this and it is short okay so thank you so today's session we have started the chapter number 2 that is mosfet and its pc analysis from that what is mosfet and what are the types of that the mosfet from that the d mosfet we have seen in detail thank you